Noah Grove videos. <laughs> All right, you guys, I was going through this, trying to set up this oxygen, this M Audio Oxygen keyboard, 61 key. You could see it here. If yours looks like this, this is the one. I'm not sure there's multiple different editions. I think this is what I'm about to show you probably works for just about any of these kind of keyboards. Um, but I was trying to set up all of these control uh functions to connect them with logic. As I was trying to set these things up, I was running into problems and certain things that kept happening that I couldn't understand what was going on. And so I kind of want to just run through this setup process, what I'm doing and what I've figured out here. I think I can save you some time and some confusion on a number of different things that you won't even know until you get into it. So first, let's look at logic. What I'm wanting to do is map the mute functions on these tracks to these buttons here on the keyboard. So I've got nine buttons here, and then I've got nine faders above them. And I'm actually using these faders for VSTs and not in Logic. Uh, I'm using these knobs over here to control eight of the volumes. So I've got nine tracks here. I've got nine buttons available to use as mutes. And then I've got eight uh, knobs over here. And so I'm just going to leave one of these without uh, control on the volume. Uh, since that one is for the drum pads. And, and there's a nice snap in Logic, by the way. Live feel snap two, I think. All right, so as you can see, if I press this button, it unmutes Celestial Voices. I want to make sure that the sounds are coming through here. Yes. All right, so... What I did to do that, so what you want to do is you want to click on the M, and then you can come over to Control Logic Pro, Control Surfaces, and Learn Assignment for Mute, or Command L. All right, this is going to open up this window. This is the window you want. You've got Easy View and Expert View. We want expert view because what's going to happen when you press, you're going to see you have a no message received over here. And so when you press this button, it's going to say learned. Okay, and now you've got some data there. It says it's for the, M the MK Oxygen 61. And then there's only one other thing that you're going to need to do, which is you're going to come down to mode, where it says scaled, and change it to rotate. Okay. And then you can exit out of this. And for me, it's going to say, do I want to reassign? And I'm just going to hit reassign because... Oh, see, now, now here's the, this is a perfect example because I already had it assigned. That's why I hit reassigned. So now, but now you're going to see... The, the problem that I created. So I'm going to do this again. I'm going to hit mute, and then I'm going to hit command L to bring up this window. Now, here's, here's one of the issues I ran into. So you can see here it says under channel strip, it says selected track. Now the reason it's saying that is because I hit the mute function on the selected track. You can see this one is highlighted. Okay. The rest, the other eight that I've got here, are not highlighted. And so when you're doing this, it defers to, if you hit the mute and unmute, and you tell it basically, this is the function I want you to learn, and you go control surfaces and learn assignment for that, it's going to, if you're, if you're doing that on a selected track, it's going to immediately say, for the channel strip setting, selected track. You don't want that. You want fader bank, or at least for what I'm doing, I didn't want that because I want each fader bank to have a specific control for that. And so I need that to be on fader bank one. 
so you just want to be, that's something to be aware of. Cause what would happen is I'd set, I'd assign these things and then one of them would be on a selected uh, track. And then the next time I, I open everything up, you know, a few days later, it would seem like one of my buttons just didn't do what it was supposed to do. And it would control a completely different track than what I in initially told it to. And that tripped me out for a while. You just want to make sure that all of these, if you're trying to control specific uh, fader banks, make sure that it's set to the proper, the channel strip is set to the proper fader bank. In this case, it's one. So now you can see that controls that. And you can do the same thing for the volume. If I want to control the volume on this fader bank, number one, I mean, a way to do this would be make sure that my selected track is something else than what I'm working on. So if I wanted to affect the set set a control to the volume on celestial voices on fader bank number one i just manipulate it a little bit with the mouse and then you can hit command l and i'm i'm not well sure i'll go ahead and do it command l and then i could control the volume here now on my on my fader i just uh did this and with this setting so you see it's on fader bank number one there's nothing I have to do down here scaled mode is fine so I'll just exit out and you can see now I can control the volume on celestial voices there's one other thing I wanted to show you which is under logic pro settings we go to MIDI settings for me so uh, under inputs, so you have general, reset messages, sync, and inputs. Under inputs, you can select which inputs are available. So with this Oxygen 61, MKV, M Audio, Oxygen 61, there, when it loads into Logic, there's three different options. There's the 61, there's the DAW, and the editor. You can see that there make sure you can see that this is a this was this created a problem that I kept experiencing it was really aggravating which is all right so let's say I'm gonna set so as you can see I've deselected the DAW and the editor and when I researched this things most of what I could find was telling me to enable a DAW preset and enable the DAW on my keyboard this just created more problems for me so I would say don't do that make sure that your your setting your mode is on, you could see like PO2, PO1. I just want it on PO1, okay? I'm hitting the mode to the right, to the right. You can set these different P. PO1 is what's working for me. When I had it on a PO8 and it was causing my keyboard to do some very strange kind of things and the, the all the functions, all the buttons seem to have completely different uh, signals that they were sending. Uh, which just created some very strange results in what I was getting, uh, it, even with the sounds that were being produced by the keyboard. Uh, it was doing some interesting stuff. If you wanted to spend the time to figure it out, uh, I, but I just want the keyboard to function like a typical keyboard and then be able to use these buttons in a straightforward way. For me, that PO1 is the right setting. Some things were telling me to use this DAW preset button and, and set it to a certain DAW preset and it will light up the DAW button, the DAW button. But for me, I wanted to disable the DAW and the editor because what would keep happening is, so if I go back to, let's, I want to set up the volume control for um, You Got Lucky, the You Got Lucky sound. So I'm going to hit Command L. All right, now to learn this I want this second volume knob to control that so it's set is learned um, it's for fader bank number two so all that is good now you'll see for MIDI input messages it says oxygen 61 MK M audio oxygen 61 okay so that's as you remember in that other window I had that was the only one that I had checked I had a check mark next to it let's go back pull that up real quick so you can see it again settings MIDI here you have these two other options here, and I don't have those selected. So they're not available here. If I tried to... I, I don't want that. Let's delete that. 
So if I'm going to set this up again with this. You got lucky, command L, and we're going to set the volume to the second input. So you can see on the MIDI input messages, it has that, that one selected. And I can't go in and select the other ones, the DAW or the editor. If I had those check marked in the MIDI settings, you'd be able to select them here. And what kept happening is when I would come back a day later after shutting stuff down, turning it back on, it would automatically select the DAW instead of this. And so then all of those settings that I had created would be remapped in this controller assignments. And so I'd have to go through and do everything again every time it just decided on its own to change the, the MIDI input message input setting to the DAW one. And so just something to remember is to disable those, the editor and the DAW in that MIDI, uh, the MIDI window right here. Disable them here. Otherwise, you're going to go through that. And it takes some time, you know, to set up all these buttons. And so I've set these up like... Uh, probably like 60 times because little things kept going wrong and it took me a long time to figure some of these things out. And, uh, anyway, that's it. I hope this is helpful to you and hopes, hopefully it saves you some time. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, help it in the algorithm. And, uh, let me know if there's anything I could do to make the video better for you. I think one of those things is to have this camera, uh, set completely still on a specific area this i was probably wandering a little bit so i apologize for that and i will keep trying to make improvements on the videos and and make stuff that's useful and uh, with that said peace out see you guys in the next one around and you're feeling down Just get on the upbeat When you lost your heart and don't know where to start Just get on the upbeat Cause I've been playing on the downbeat for too long Maybe the remedy is to fall into a song just get on the upbeat, just get on the upbeat, yeah, 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 just get on.